Hey there folks, well the Jets are beginning organized team activities on Tuesday, May the 22nd, already coming up for their first spring practices, first of 13. They have 10 OTAs, they have three mandatory minicamp practices in mid-June, and then they wrap up around mid-June, reconvening for training camp in late July. One of the interesting questions as it pertains to one of the Jets' rookies, uh, Nathan Shepard, the third round draft pick out of Division II Fort Hayes State, Obviously, maybe overlooked a little bit because of that Sam Darnold guy the Jets drafted in the first round, but Shepard was the Jets' second pick, second overall pick in this draft. So um, will he be able to show in OTAs, spring practices, minicamp, they're all the same thing. In these 13 spring practices, will he be able to show that he belongs at this level? That's a really interesting question and one that the Jets aren't going to really be able to ascertain until later on down the line because there isn't going to be full contact stuff in the spring. That's just not how teams do it. And... Um, in training camp, really not a ton of it at all either until you get to preseason games. So uh, teams obviously want to protect these guys. They're big-time investments. So in terms of Shepard, you know, his background is is, is so, um, you know, modest. I mean, it, he went to Simon Fraser University in British Columbia, obviously worked his tail off to be able to continue playing football um, in, at the Division II level in terms of earning some money on odd jobs. So he has the work ethic. There's no question about it. He has the size. There's no question about that either. He's the same size as Mo Wilkerson, who previously occupied the 3-4 defensive end spot that uh, Nathan Shepard is taking. Uh, but, you know, does he have everything that it takes to thrive as a 3-4 defensive end at the NFL level? There's a lot of projection going on here with this guy because of the fact that you know he has not played against elite players. And he didn't play in the Senior Bowl. He just practiced in the Senior Bowl, acquitted himself well in those practices which are important, but over the long haul, he's not tested against NFL caliber players. Having played a tiny school in British Columbia, or maybe it's not so tiny, I don't know, I mean, not a high-profile school in British Columbia, and then a, uh, obviously not a high-profile two at the division school at the Division II level in the middle of Kansas. So Nathan Shepard's going to have a lot of uh, stuff to prove here, but will he be able to bite it all off at once in, in spring practice and OTAs, no, but I think he can show these coaches that he can move a little bit, that he can understand the defense, um, and that you know physically, I don't think there's an issue physically with him, that he can hold up against uh, NFL offensive linemen. You know, doing it in rookie minicamp was one thing. Most of those guys out there were tryout guys who aren't going to be in the NFL at all. Uh, doing it in spring practice this year and the 13 opportunities starting on Tuesday will be quite a different test for Nathan Shepard, and it'll be uh, fascinating to see uh, how he does.